welcome to another demo video of Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Couchbase and how easy it is to install a Couchbase cluster on OpenShift with a certified operator. For those of you not familiar with Couchbase, it is a full feature multi-service NoSQL database. And today we're gonna to use their operator within OpenShift to get up and running and get you up and running quickly so with that, let's take a look at what we're going to review. First, the install of the Couchbase operator within OpenShift, and you'll see how quick and easy that is. Then we're gonna set up a project, configure a secret, and then use those in the installation of the Couchbase cluster. Once we do that, we'll set up a route to expose the Couchbase UI. That way your administrators can log in and begin work immediately on Couchbase on top of OpenShift. All right, so with that, Let's zip right into it. We'll go to our OpenShift Container Platform Console here. We're going to take a look at our operator hub. But remember, the first thing we got to do is install the Couchbase operator. To do that is extremely simple. We'll take a look at Couchbase, search for that. We'll click on the operator. We'll click Install. Then you have a few options here. The only one of real note is the installation mode. We're going to install on all namespaces, so this can be used by anybody in any project within OpenShift. Uh, if you wanted to, you could limit it to one particular namespace to make sure it's not available to others. For now, for demo purposes, we're going with all and we're clicking install. Then in many cases, this is the type of time where you pause the video and then you start it back up so people aren't kind of waiting through dead space. But I wanted to show how quick this is. Just a few more seconds and we'll have an operator up and running. And there you go. We'll click view operator. And that's where we're gonna end up. If you notice there's Couchbase cluster here, eventually we'll get to that and install the actual cluster for Couchbase. But first I wanna show you where we went. We were an operator hub is where we installed it. And right underneath that under operators here is installed operator. So now we have Couchbase operator installed we can click on that and that takes us to the interface with all the different things you can do with this operator, including the installation of that cluster, but we'll get there in just a second. Before we can do that, we're gonna go up here and create our project. So we'll go up to the right-hand side, click on create project. Couchbase example is what we're gonna call it. We'll give it a display name and you can notice I've done this a few times. Um, just gonna paste this. All right, and then we'll hit create. Simple as that. Now we have a project called CB-Example. We're gonna utilize in the rest of this demo. Then one more step before we can create the cluster itself is we're gonna create a secret. And there's different methods that you could use to create secrets. Uh, and you'll notice what we'll show you in just a minute here. But today we're gonna use from YAML. As you get more experience and you set this up in a production environment, you're going to want to use different methods. This is a simple one for us to demo. We're going to do that. I'm going to cut and paste this and then show you the key component that you really want to be looking at, which is setting up our secrets that we'll use later when we log into the UI for Couchbase. So you'll see here the data is the main portion of this. Username and password. We're going to have administrator and password set up there. We'll create that secret by hitting create. All right, so we've added that secret. Remember that because we'll use that in the installation of the, of the Couchbase cluster itself. All right, so with that, we're gonna go back to our installed operators. We're gonna click on Couchbase operator. And now we're gonna click on Couchbase cluster, All right? And of course, logic says create Couchbase cluster. And here we go. There is two different ways of doing this. You could do it from a YAML view right? Or you can do it from form. Today we're going to do it from form to walk you kind of through the steps in the different sections. It's a little bit more visible here in the form. Um, and the first thing we're going to do though is verify something. We're not even going to change anything. Under security, remember that secret we created? There it is. So now we know there we don't change it, right? That's what we wanted to use. You could use others if you have multiple secrets and modify the one you want to use there. All right, this image though, we are going to change. This is a container image because we want to use the latest and greatest. So I'm simply going to cut and paste this. Please note by the time you watch this video, this may not be the latest and greatest. So 
uh, watch for that. Make sure you use one uh, that's appropriate for your needs. The next thing we're doing is under servers. And we're gonna do two things here. <clears throat> First is the demo environment that I have has two worker nodes. So I'm gonna reduce this from three to two. If your environment has more or less, you know, make sure you change that so it matches BF4, 5, et cetera. Um, so we'll do that. The other thing is right underneath there under servers, there is services. We're simply going to get rid of three services that we're not using. There's no point in using excessive resources for something we don't need. So we're going to remove search, eventing, and analytics. Simple to do that. All right, we'll keep scrolling down to backup. Here, there's going to be another image that we need to remove, or I should say replace. Oops. All right, let me do the same thing here. I'm gonna cut and paste. All right, and we're almost done. Underneath here is monitoring Prometheus. And remember, Prometheus now comes included in OpenShift. We're going to do the same thing here, but for that image, we want to make sure we have the latest and greatest. <clears throat> so we'll get rid of that. We'll come over here and pick up the new image. We have that. We're going to verify that we've got everything configured we need. Yeah, all looks good. So we'll come to the bottom. We'll click create. This is a little misleading because it pops right to the screen, makes you think, hey, my Couchbase cluster is up and running. It's not. We'll take a look at that real quick. So if we drill into this and go to events, well, first of all, you'll see here a warning. We'll go to events and so you can watch this in real time. Uh, again, not pausing the video here, letting it run, and boom, there you go. Uh, our Couchbase cluster is running, but even then, when we return to details, we're going to see there's no members yet. So none of the worker nodes are fully up and running yet. Uh, again, not pausing the video, letting you watch this. What we're going to see is the first worker node come up, and then we'll see the second one. So, and as we do that, and there's, there's the first one, and as we wait for the second one, you can see this information here, like current version uh, and other stuff that you configured during that. And we'll scroll down as soon as we get that second node up and running. So you can see some more information there. And then we still have one more step. Don't forget that we still can't get to that service until we expose it with a route. Um, but we'll do that in just a second here. So again, that's one worker node and there's the second one just came up. Uh, with that, I'll scroll down just to get a feeling for some things. Some of these you'll recognize like the admin secret. We configured that, that is here. Uh, a lot of the other configurations that you set up uh, can all be reflected here so you can see what you have. All right, with that, we've got we've gone to our final step. We're going to take a look at networking and routes. You know, because remember right now we have this up and running, but it's really only with an open shift. You're going to you're going to want to expose that to your network so that your you know, couch based administrators can get to their NoSQL database. We're going to create a route. Um, we're going to call this, let's just call it my route. Um, we're going to select the service. Remember, it's the UI we're trying to expose, so that's the service. And target port, we'll use 8091 TCP, and that's it. We'll click Create, and immediately this pops up. Take a look at our location. There is a URL there. We simply click on that. That'll open up the UI for Couchbase. And look at that, we've got a username and password. This should begin to look familiar as far as our secret. So administer uppercase A and then password. Click on that and there we go. We're logged into our dashboard, we're ready to work, or I should say your administrators are ready to get going on the work that they need to do with Couchbase within OpenShift. So a quick recap, we installed the operator we created a project, we created a secret, we used that in the creation of the Couchbase cluster, and then we create, created a route to expose the UI, logged in, and we were ready to go. Your administrators are ready to go and start their work on their database. Thank you for watching this demo video. We'll create others in the future. See you then.